So a few of you guys have been asking recently where I've been and if I'm doing okay. I just wanna assure you, everything is good, I'm doing well. I've just been incredibly busy here at the dealership and so it's been really difficult for me to take the time to make these videos. So anyways, I appreciate all those who have reached out. I have some exciting videos planned coming up, so stay tuned for that. Today we are gonna be talking about, as the title suggests, some exciting things. What is new on the 2023 Subaru Outback? If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Alex. I like to share Subaru videos with you guys. So if you enjoy content like that, please consider clicking the subscribe button down below. And if you guys have any questions by the end of this video, please be sure to leave those down in the comment section below. Before anybody gets too upset, behind me is a 2022 Subaru Outback. It is not a 2023. We actually don't have the 2023 Outbacks out yet, and I'm gonna be sharing details on when we expect those to arrive later in this video. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely stick around towards the end. But I'm gonna be going over this and showing you what's different on the 2023 and include some pictures up on the screen so you can see the differences between the two. By the way, if you are somebody who works at Subaru and you wanna help me get my hands on some of our new models when they first come out, I'd really love the opportunity to film with those. I have reached out to Subaru, but sadly I have not heard anything back. So anyways, if you wanna help out with that, then feel free to reach out to me. It actually makes more sense to film the first portion of this video with this white Outback here because you can see the contrast in the cladding and the white paint, whereas with the black Outback I was gonna start with, doesn't have hardly any contrast. So let's talk about the front end on the 2023 Outback. The 2023 Outback has a much more pronounced front end. The cladding, there's a lot more cladding. And here on our 2022, we can see Although this does have a lot of cladding compared to previous generations, it does not have as much as the new model. So starting out this front bumper portion, this on the 2022 just kind of comes up and over, still stays below the grill line. On the 2023, it comes up and over below the headlight. So it does create a different look, a different design. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. And I think over time, I'll probably get more used to it and may even prefer it. But for right now, I'm just kind of indifferent. The front headlight on the 2022 is more smooth and flush around the, the body lines. On the 2023, when you look, it appears that it kind of shoots out towards the blinker and it kind of bumps out a little bit and then goes back in. So I'm not sure what that will look like in person, but that the blinker side marker part is much more pronounced on the 2023 headlights. The 2023 also has a different front grille design. So on the 22, we see these vertical lines all across the front grille. On the 22, by the way, you can get a turbo, they call it a turbo front grille, and it's just a different design. It has a hexagonal design in here, which resembles much like that of the 2023 that is now a standard. So the 2023 has a hexagonal grill design that you get on your new Outback. The fog lights have also been changed for the 2023. So here on our 2022 model, we have these rectangular fog lights and they are on the far edge of either side of the front bumper. On the 2023, they are round and they're actually more in the center area. So here is what they look like on the 2023. You can see how those differ greatly from the 2022. We've got more cladding on the wheel arching for the 2023. So the, here's the 22 wheel arching. And this is something that I think people have mixed feelings about for many years, but we've got the, the cladding and it's here to stay. In the 2022 Wilderness Edition, we saw these more pronounced wheel arch cladding and that is going to stay the same on the 23 Wilderness. So the 22 and 23 Wilderness are going to look the same. However, for our other 23 Outbacks, this wheel arching is going to be more pronounced and look a little bit more rugged than the previous year. In the media so far, we've only seen the Onyx Edition, but it does have what appears to be a redesign for the wheels. So here's the design on the 2022. And if you go with an Onyx Edition, in the 2022 it's the same wheel design but it's just all black and in the 2023 we're still getting an 18 inch wheel but it does have a different design and i think i actually i'm starting to really like the design of the new 2023 better than the 2022. speaking of the onyx and the 2023 
they have always had this chrome trim around the windows on the onyx even though the onyx has the black appearance package they've always for whatever reason left this chrome strip around it now obviously this is not an onyx but the trim is the exact same that you would see on an onyx now in 2023 they have finally blacked out this window trim so it is no longer the chrome trim it is now the all black trim which is exactly what they did for the 2022 ascent onyx edition now let's head out back of the outback i've been wanting to say that for a while so <laughs> on the back here we see that this one has an extra badge that says xt xt stands for turbo so it's a 2.4 liter turbo this is the upgraded engine that you can get on an outback and the standard engine is a 2.5 liter naturally aspirated the 2.5 gets about 2,700 pounds of towing capacity, while this one gets 3,500 pounds of towing. But besides towing capabilities, if you want something that has a little bit more get up and go and performance, then the XT or the turbo engine is what you'd want to go with. What is nice though for 2023, if you do like the Onyx Edition, you like the look of it, you like the black wheels, the black appearance package, but you don't want the turbo engine, you can actually get a standard 2.5 liter engine now in the Onyx. So that is all new for the 2023. In the Onyx Edition, it used to come standard with an XT or a turbo engine. Now it's not standard. You have the option to choose between the two. One reason why people would forego the XT engine is because of the fuel economy so it's not quite as good as the naturally aspirated 2.5 liter but it just comes down to what your personal preferences are do you want power or do you want better fuel economy that's what you have to decide for yourself now we'll hop inside and talk about some of the updates that are going on on the inside of the car if you saw my previous video you heard me talk about the touchscreen display on the outback the legacy and the new wrx or any of the new Subarus to come that have this large touchscreen display. Down below here, you've got your climate control and your heated seat controls. And what's difficult right now in the 2020 to 2022 models is this control for your heated seat. So you click on it here, and then over here, you have to click your heated seat button. Now, from there, you can click simultaneously to change from high, medium, or low temperatures. This one in particular has the ventilated seats because it is the Touring. Same process. You have to click into two menus and then click it simultaneously. Whereas it would just be easier if you could just click it here and then be able to adjust your temperature without having to go into a second menu. I'm happy to announce that they are changing that for the 2023 model. So you will no longer have to adjust it in two menus. It'll all be on this one screen for you and your passenger. They're also updating the size and the layout of these buttons down below here. So these buttons or touchscreen buttons are your fan speed controls. And they're really tiny, so they are kind of hard to adjust while you're driving or just when you wanna adjust them in general because they're at the very bottom here. With the new display, the update and the layout, they're actually gonna have larger buttons here. So that'll be a nice welcoming update also. And for those of you who have a 2020 to 2022 with this current design, I imagine Subaru is gonna send out an update for you guys so that way you can update your touchscreen display to have these same layouts and features that the new 2023 will have. This particular Outback that I'm sitting in has the wireless charging pad. So you just slide your phone down in there and it will wirelessly charge your phone, which is nice. But right now, if you like to utilize Apple CarPlay or Android Auto in the 2022 or older models, you have to plug your phone up to the USB input down here in order to con connect to that, which kind of defeats the purpose of having the wireless charging to begin with, unless you have a passenger or somebody else in the car who wants to wirelessly charge their phone, but not be connected to your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. With the new 2023, Subaru is finally introducing wireless CarPlay and Android Auto, so you can wirelessly charge your phone and wirelessly connect to your CarPlay. Now this is an accessory, it's also an accessory in the current cars, so I imagine they will require you to add this as a, an accessory when you are building your car out, if it doesn't already have it on it. The 2023 Outback is also gonna have the option for a smart rear view mirror. 
So right now, there's nothing in the back seat, there's nobody sitting back there, and there's no luggage blocking the rear window. So we can see clearly out of the rear view mirror and the rear window when we need to merge or see behind us. The purposes of that smart rear view mirror allows you to see outside of your back, the back of your car even when you have people blocking the back window. And the way it does that is with a rear camera that's situated just above the top portion of your car near the rear brake light and it'll visualize what you can see right up here on the display in the mirror. So I just hopped in a 2022 Subaru Ascent Touring, which is the only Subaru model currently that has the smart rear view mirror. And this is what it looks like. You can flip this up and a digital display shows up so you can see behind you if you need to merge going down the road when you can't see out of your window otherwise. On the 2023 Outback, we are getting the updated EyeSight system so not just the design, but also the technology that can see in front of the car. So right now the design allows you to actually be able to touch the camera lenses with your fingers, which if you can tell here, it's not a good idea to touch them. The reason why, if those get dirt or debris on them to decrease visibility, it will actually deactivate your eyesight system and you'll have to get it recalibrated, which is not a cheap thing to do. For the 2023 Outback, they are going to enclose this lens just like they did for the 2022 Forester. And then also for the 2023 Outback in the Touring Edition, they're going to add a third camera in the center. I think they call it a mono camera. And from my understanding, this is supposed to have better detection for cyclists or pedestrians on the road. And I think it's only going to be offered on the Touring. I'm not sure, but that is a new update that we are getting for the 2023 EyeSight. At the beginning of this video, I mentioned something about when we should expect the 2023 Outbacks. I don't have official details on this yet, but from what I suspect, we will probably have the first 2023 Outbacks in the fall of 2022. So later this year, we should have the 2023 Outbacks available. Of course, that all comes down to production levels and how things go there. So fingers crossed, we can get a 2023 later at the end of this year. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far along. If you did like this video and you got value out of it, please be sure to click the like button. I'd greatly appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next one.